one of the country's transport modes, ushering in October Transport Month. Transport Minister Filem Balula joined scores of train commuters on a train ride on the recently opened uh, Pretoria Pinarsport line from Mamilodi to Bosman train station in the Pretoria CBD. It's one of the major lines that suffered through vandalism and the COVID-19 lockdown, but now operational again. To enhance train services, advance signaling technology, modernize high-speed circuit breakers and the use of aluminium wires to counter copper theft have been included in the new trains. As rail services are the focus, 10 priority corridors are being restored with a budget of over 2.7 billion rand. We decide to start this by launching one corridor, one more, uh, which is Pinarsport. Uh, Pernarsport is part of the 10 corridors that the president spoke about in the state of the nation. Uh, that uh, this year we are going uh, to, to launch and recover. So uh, we don't believe in this thing that uh, the president uh, make announcements in the state of the nation and things don't get to happen. So this is part of the 10 and uh, we are very excited today to get Pernarsport going. Um, and uh, all other corridors are coming, Naledi in Soweto. So December will give the state of Metro Rail. Majority of the working class rely on train services for affordability. More than 200,000 train commuters were compromised when many trains were halted since 2019 due to vandalism, security-related challenges and the COVID-19 lockdown. Train commuters are elated that services are restored. When the train is back like this, we can save some money and we can rely on this train. Uh, that's how I feel, very happy. It's suffering about, the, about transport. The taxis are very, very expensive. Uh, some of the people, they can't uh, afford, and some of them, they lose their jobs, I can say, because of, uh, of transport, of the of taxi transport than the and uh, taxi fees. Train the uh, are back, mm -hmm. then our life is going to be changed. Mbalula is also cracking the whip on the embattled peristatal prasa to get its act in order and ensure effective rail services to citizens. One of Prasa's focus areas is to make sure that restored rail services are not compromised by rolling blackouts during load shedding. We do have contingency plans in place, particularly at our key stations. As you've seen today, we're on the Pinarsport Corridor. We've got the backup uh, generators that are on standby in t at our stations when there is load shedding to ensure that we do have the lights, the ticketing machines are all working so that we can conduct business uh, at the station. But when it comes to the line itself, uh, we've got our own power that we are utilizing, so the load shedding will not impact the running of the trains as it speaks. Road and aviation safety will also be prioritized, especially to mitigate against the scourge of road carnage in the country. Meanwhile, Mbalula reiterated the economic benefits of transport in the country. He says transport is the engine to growing the economy and job creation. If uh, transport is not moving, uh, this economy will not move. Um, so we've got to move people, we've got to move goods. This year marks the 17th installment of October Transport Month and effective service delivery is the focus. Ambalula has also reminded citizens and officials that lawlessness and corruption, which is at the center of vandalism on rail services and the carnage on the roads, will not be tolerated. He has appealed for everyone's cooperation to safeguard all transport infrastructure, especially rail services. Patricia Fasaghi, CBC News in Pretoria.